Hello, this is Tony Vanilla down at the uh, VFW post 10066 here in Jensen Beach. Um, we're here for the Memorial Day event and celebration and uh, remembrance here at the post with us veterans. Uh, I myself am a Navy vet, not that that matters, but it's really cool to be here kind of working, kind of just hanging out, listening to music. But we do have this Winnebago travel trailer that's phenomenal quality if you're thinking about full timing. And that's what we're thinking about right now. This is your path through outside storage. So this is like a little mini basement storage. And you can see it's aluminum framed all the way through. So you do have wood here, but you have aluminum and Asdell in the walls. So this is gonna have a lot less opportunity to rot out. They also use residential grade floor materials on a Winnebago towable as do our fifth wheels as well. And that's some of the differences I was going to steal that. That's why I'm in here. Um, between like a standard camper towable and something like this that's a little more residential stylings. Um, it's got an outside spray port that we talked about for the doggos and that's a little spray hose. Uh, it does have the little nozzle as well. But that's just one little thing. The outside speakers, the awning there, as well as the awning off the slide, because it does have opposing slides like a fifth wheel. Uh, this is very similar to some fifth wheel floor plans we'll see out there. But you get to keep your truck bed and you're under 12,000 pounds, which is awesome because most 150s can tow this. It does have the griddle and the grill built in, the mini fridge, but as we saw, it does have a really nice indoor double door refrigerator freezer. And it does have a nice look to it. Good uh, good quality fiberglass, the same kind of stuff Winnebago uses on their motorhomes. Their towables living up to that standard. Uh, fully walkable roof. We're gonna take a quick peek. The flagpole makes this a little harder, but I'm the one who put it up here. So you can take a peek at your solar panel and that will help keep up your refrigerator and other draws cell phones plug in and charge and then lower your metered bill so i'm gonna try to sneak inside it really quick that's another cool dog and then this does have the bll stabilizing system it's got four points of stabilization you can run right out of here and then you have your up down on your hitch so everything runs very easily off of the BAL system. The frame is a huck bolted frame, so it's built um, to be maintained over the life of the coach. It's on the Goodyear tires. It does have the Explorer package and the Comfort Tech package. So it's just like the actual real tires you're supposed to have on trailers that a lot of the cheap ones don't have already. So you have the Endurance Goodyears instead of something that's gonna just pop. And um, <clears throat> you get 24 hour uh, roadside assistance for the first year with the purchase through coach nut three-year warranty on the frame one year bumper to bumper uh and the comfort tech is essentially what's well, good to keep the cold out it's good to keep the cold in so you can use this trailer in the winter or you can make it feel like winter in the summer it is a 50 amp service what you're gonna need to live in in my opinion in florida and it's going to have dual ac one in the bedroom and one in the living space um, all ducted throughout so you have a lot of climate control and we talked about that as well uh, recliners uh, with a usb ports plugged in there it's heated seats when you're plugged in it's, it's got a little wi-fi thing there i'm not sure what that's about to be honest but uh, it also reclines the televisions there has an electric heater fireplace a center kitchen tons of counter space if you want to put a lamp, this would be a great place to put a lamp in the living room. Uh, you've got a few options though right there as well. If you want one in the kitchen, I know you're saying you don't love trailer lights. That's why I bought lamps. I don't either. Your dog, kid, office, whatever room. Three windows back here. Ducts for the ACs back here. Vented fan. Small television that you might have to dog proof. Tons of cabinet space back here. Sorry about the lighting here. I know it's not ideal. USB ports all throughout the coach for charging and a flat charging station there. So if you want to put your Android phone or your Apple phone down and charge, most of them can do that now on the Connects charging system. 
Uh, you also obviously have the solar. It is pre-wired for a Wi-Fi uh, signal booster from King. I don't even have that. I just use my cell phone or whatever the camp offers, but it's cool that it's pre-wired for that. Awning, all electric, everything's set up here. You don't have any manual stuff here that you have to deal with. You know, tank, yeah, tank measurements, all that junk. Sorry, I'm kind of hot out here. <laughs> Uh, double door fridge like we talked about just phenomenal for living in it it's going to be similar actually a lot of fifth wheels don't have fridges this big to be honest a lot of fifth wheels are as livable as this much in my opinion and then tons of cupboard space you know glass just very you know it feels like home in here a little bit especially for a trailer beautiful little valance and then let me hasten this the bathroom sink in the bathroom toilet placement is sensible you can get wide it is porcelain thank goodness it doesn't stain and look gross big tanks on this i don't have it memorized glass shower door which is spectacular this is going to be a very mold resilient coach it's going to have a lot less press board it's going to have a lot less uh even the way they had the duo form that's lipped up, it, the, 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 the shower pan should be residential grade. And um, that's not all the trailers that a lot of them brought out. You shouldn't have that problem on a Winnebago trailer. And you have a, an access point to double check it throughout the life. So it is a little high, but I like it that way because I live in mine. I, I'm always checking under my shower for any water damage. That's sadly common, especially on the cheaper ones. And then it is, a, you know, it's the bedroom in the front of the trailer. Uh, big enough bed, I think but that's up to you um and then two closets there but i think we talked about on your scoot around bed washer dryer prep in here if you wanted to but also big old closet so phenomenal tv in the bedroom ac in the bedroom also ducted so just awesome you know residential style doors control there and there's one also here for the living room and we talked about that as well uh, I think that's going to be the nuts and the bolts. Uh, I could talk more about like how it's built, why it's built, the choices they've made. I know there's stuff I didn't pitch, like the smoke detectors, the propane detectors, the convection oven. Uh, you know, the, the <laughs> this is actually on a little bracket that comes up. Like, there's just cool, there's cool stuff on this to talk about still, but it's already seven and a half minutes in. And, it, you know, it, it could legitimately sell here today. So, you know, if it's gone, I apologize. But uh, this is... This is the one that you seem to like the most, so I wanted to give you an opportunity to have a second look at it. And uh, I don't know if you have the the stairs like that too, but I think that's just a must-have as a full-timer on those rainy days. And then I think it looks really good on the outside. Well, I know it does. It's a handsome little trailer. And oh, look, big, big fiberglass front cap, weather stripping on the seams. That's a common fail point, but they've covered up really really smartly built really nice thick baggage doors you can tell the quality and then that means less hot air because it's insulated baggage doors getting underneath your bed in the summer thank you so much and uh we hope to see and hear from you guys soon uh, have a great day and uh, thank you for coming out on memorial day to the vfw